Hey, welcome to today's video. I want to give you a little channel update uh, before we get into the video. First thing is, as of the recording of this video, I have 85 subscribers. That is so awesome. Thank you. I didn't even expect to have one, so the fact that I've hit 85 means that 85 of you like to watch me do this, and I, I appreciate that. Also, I know some of you have uh, been waiting on me to get a couple of custom videos done. And I promise I am going to do that. Uh, a little bit about my lab update. I do have to run some conduit for code purposes. And I do have a couple of videos in the pipeline for once the lab is online. And that should happen here in the next week. So I will keep you all posted. In the meantime, I'm going to do a video that I can actually use virtual machines for and that is to install the Unify controller, the latest stable version, which is 4.8.18. So let's jump into, into it. Just as a note, all of my installs are done on Linux. So I will assume that you have or know how to install a Debian or Ubuntu server with a static IP address. I'm going to bring my server up that we're going to be working on. Now it says 14.04.3, but I actually did an update and I think it needs to be rebooted. So we'll do that real quick. So while we're waiting for that to reboot, we will go out and look at where you get the software. If you're not on the Ubiquity community site, I suggest that you get an account and talk to the people that are out there. There's a lot of really great people that can help us support on the Ubiquity products. We see that Ubiquity employee Mike D usually posts the Unify controller updates and Thursday he posted that 4.8.18 was released that is the latest stable that is released there are a couple different ways to do the install you can add a repository or you can do a manual install I prefer the manual installs if you do some Google searching or even searching on the community you can find how to add the repositories and do it that way Let's see if our virtual machine's back up yet. Okay, we rebooted and now you can see that everything is up to date, which is fantastic. I always like to start that way. So for us to grab the software, we are going to go out to https colon slash slash download dot ubnt dot com. That will bring you to the Ubiquity download page. We're going to go to Unify. We're going to scroll down to Unify version 4.8.18 controller for Debian Ubuntu Linux. Click the little download icon, click the download button, and we're going to get this direct URL, and that's what we're after. We're going to go over to our server. We're going to do a wget, paste in the URL for the software, hit enter. Your server will reach out to the Ubiquity servers and download the software. We can see that our software is downloaded to the server. So we're going to do 
a dpackage install and likely we're going to get some dependency issues so we'll run a sudo apt-get hyphen f install to fix that but first let's verify the file is there and we'll run our install and it's attempting to install but you can see that it says there's a lot of software missing so what we're gonna do we're gonna run that apt-get hyphen f install it's gonna go out and it's gonna download all the dependencies that we need see it installing the software there goes the unify unify looks like it's done so now we're gonna set up unify HTTPS colon slash slash the IP address or host name of your server colon 8443 We are not using a CA certificate, and we're also not accessing it by a host name. So we're going to get this little connection is not private error, so we will still proceed. And now we get the Unify Setup Wizard. At this point, if, if you're migrating from another controller and you have the backup file, you can restore here by clicking Restore, and then it will prompt you for that file. This is a new setup for us, so we're just going to click Next. If you already have devices on your network, Unify devices that are on the same L2 network or switch, it can automatically discover those. You can set up your first SSID with a password and create a guest access from here. We will skip this as well. This is important. There is a way to recover this, but it's better if you remember what it is, write it down, keep it in your little secure black book. It kind of just gives us a little bit of a review that we did not set up any SSIDs. It tells us what our admin name is. We're going to click Finish. Now we can log in. And here is the foundation of everything else that we'll work with on the Unify controller. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. And also, if you haven't joined the Ubiquity community, head on over to community.ubnt.com and join. Like I said, there's a lot of very talented folks over there that can help you out with your problems. Thanks, and come back again.